Chapel and a Happy New Year to each one that's here this morning. We're going to start our service this morning with a reading. So if you turn in your hymnal to number seven, number seven is not a song, it's a reading. And if you'll stand with me, I'll read the light print and then you respond with the bold print. Okay? I said that clearly? Stand, please. <laughs> Again, I'll read the light print and then you read the bold print. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and in earth is yours. We give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. <laughs> Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. We give you thanks and praise your glorious name. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Okay, and now we're going to sing numbers 8, 9, and 10. We'll sing them one after the other. Now, oh Everybody here speaks Japanese, except me. I'm going to ask that we read it in Nihongo. And 
Kwape-san, would you Nihongo. Yeah. We're not going to read the English. Oh, just, okay. just to <laughs>神の神であられる方に感謝せよ。その恵みは常しえまで。神の神であられる方に感謝せよ。その恵みは常しえまで。ただ一人大いなる不思議を行われる方にその恵みは常しえまで。地を水の上に敷かれた方にその恵みは常しえまで大いな光を作られた方にその恵みは常しえまで昼を収める太陽を作られた方にその恵みは常しえまで夜を収める月と星を作られた方にその恵みは常しえまで エジプトのウイゴを撃たれた方にその恵みは常しえまで主はイスラエルをエジプトの真ん中から連れ出された。その恵みは常しえまで。力強い手と差し伸ばされた腕を持ってその恵みは常しえまで。足の指を二つに分
And when it came to Japan, one of the first words I had to learn was arigato. <laughs> it's important that we know how to say thank you. It's be important because so often there's a need to express gratitude for favors received. So we need to learn to say thank you. And you know that's also true in the kingdom of God because God wants us to say thank you for favors received. An example of him calling for us to give thanks is in our text today. Here in Psalm 136, it's, it's made very clear that we're to express our thanks, our gratitude and thanksgiving for what we receive from heaven. So let's look at this psalm and I want you to notice first that we're told who we should give thanks to. First one says we should give thanks to the Lord for his good. Now the Hebrew word translated Lord is Jehovah, the covenant keeping Lord, Israel's God. But then verse 2 continues the description. It says, give thanks to the God of gods. The God of gods. The God who's worshipped by the angels. The God from whom all authority is derived. The God who has conquered and will, con will continue to conquer all the false gods and all the false religions. The God who, according to verse 3, is above all emperors, presidents, prime ministers, and dictators. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. So what does all this mean? It means that in all of our worship, we must remember, we must understand, we must see that our God is incomparable. His power and His dominion are unquestionable and supreme. This is the one, our God, who we are called upon to give thanks to. But then, what are we to give thanks for? Going back to verse 1 again for a moment, note that we're to thank Him because He is good. 
そこには神様が良いお方恵み深いお方であるので私たちは感謝を捧げるべきと書かれています We're to thank our God because He is good. Now, now you know the Pharisees. Remember the Pharisees? They, they gave thanks when they prayed. <laughs> But as they prayed and as they thanked God, They praised themselves. <laughs> Remember the example our Lord gave of the Pharisee in the temple? Remember that story? Remember when he prayed, he stood at the front and he said, God! I thank you that I'm not like that tax collector over there. You see, the Pharisee gave thanks, but the thanks were offered for his own glory. Now listen to me carefully here. We don't give thanks for what we are or even who we are or what we've even become. <laughs> Did you hear that last part? We don't give thanks for what we have achieved or even what we've been allowed to achieve. We give thanks to God because He is good. Notice too, I didn't say we thank him because he does good things. We thank him because he is good. And because he's good, his loving kindness is everlasting. His merciful kindness toward us endures forever. Notice, if you will, that the phrase his loving kindness is everlasting is repeated in all 26 verses of the song. And let me explain something to you. When it says everlasting, it means forever. When it says forever, it means eternal. Do you realize that the word, words like everlasting and forever? Can only be used of God. We use those words all the time. But when we do, we probably misuse them. Because there's nothing or no one in this world. That's everlasting 
lasts forever or is eternal. But in this song, he says 26 times that his mercy endures forever. So first we thank God because he's good. Then second, we do give thanks to our wonderful, all-powerful and all-wise God for what he does. Verse 4 tells us that he alone does great wonders. Even his plan for us is wonderful since it was divine, it was this, uh, designed by his infinite wisdom. And his plan's accomplishment for us is wonderful as it's completed by his infinite power. He alone, he alone does these wonderful, spectacular, marvelous things. No one else. No other God, so called God, or power could do such things. And listen to this. He does these things, these wonderful, spectacular, marvelous things without the assistance of anyone else. So let's examine some of these things he's done. First verse 5. He made the heavens with great skill. Now there's an example of his wisdom and power. And then verse 6. He spread out the earth above the waters. He caused the dry land to appear so that we could live there. Shouldn't we be thankful? Yes, he's given the earth for the children of men to inhabit and enjoy. And I might add, to take care of. And then verses 7 through 9 say, He made the great lights. He made the sun and the moon and the stars to shed their light and their influences upon the earth. He called them great lights because that's how they appear to us. But why does he say they rule? They rule, these great lights rule because they determine the seasons and the times. The sun rules by day and the others by night. These rulers, these great lights are there for our good. 
これら司るものは大きな光たちは私たちのために存在するのです。Did you ever think of that? That the sun rules you? 考えたことありますか太陽が私たちを司る。You don't sleep when it's sunny. ねえ、日が立っているときに寝ませんよね。Well, maybe you're hearing it. まあ、昼寝、昼寝ですけど。<笑> But the sun and the moon, they rule the earth. Shouldn't we give thanks to Him who made them? So, first, we saw that we're to give thanks to God because He's good. ですから、第一に、神様は恵み深い良いお方なので、私たちが感謝を捧げるべきだと言っています。And then, and then second, そして、二番目に、神様の力と知恵のゆえに、私たちは感謝を捧げるべきであるということを見ました。And third, we're to give thanks for his loving care. で、三番目に、感謝を捧げるべき理由は、He, he gives us a great example of his care as he describes what he's done for Israel. Now, what did God do for Israel? Well, he formed them into a people. In verses 10 to 12, he reminds us that he redeemed them out of Egypt. That was an act of merciful kindness for which they should be eternally grateful. And that act of redemption was a Our redemption by Christ, for which we should be eternally thankful. Notice the scripture says he brought them out of Egypt with a strong hand and an outstretched arm. 神様はその力強い手と腕を伸ばしてエジプトから導き出した。An arm stretched so far out he could do great things for them. 腕を遠くまで伸ばして偉大なことを彼らのためにしてくださったのです。What did he do for Israel? イスラエルのためにどうしてくださったでしょうか Well, he made a way for them to pass through the Red Sea. 覚えていますか航海を渡ることができるようにね、Now, the Red Sea, as they were trying to escape, presented a barrier to them. But he alone had the power to do what he did. He alone had the power to control the course of nature and divide the sea into two parts. Skeptics say impossible. <laughs> really? Is their God so incapable of doing that? Mine's not. <laughs> My God can do it. God divided the water and opened a pass for Israel to pass through. But He not only divided the sea, but He also gave His people the courage to go through it when it was divided. You ever think of that? If you came there and you saw a wall of water on this side and a wall of water on this side, 
Would you pass through? That took special courage. He gave them the courage. Shouldn't they be thankful? Yeah, we need to be thankful for the courage He gives us to do things. Then he guided them through the wilderness. And not just leading them through, but also feeding them for 40 years. They wandered here and there, no GPS, but they didn't get lost. Why? Because he was there. Shouldn't they be thankful? Just think of the wildernesses that he's led you through this past year, 2016. Just think of the times his same strong hand and outstretched arm has taken care of you in 2016. Shouldn't you and I be care thankful? Verses 17 through 18 say he even smote great kings before them. He, just, he didn't just depose them and banish them. He slew them. He demonstrated his wrath against these mighty but wicked kings. But for Israel, Ah, for Israel, his loving kindness was everlasting. Some of these kings were great and famous. But Israel's God, our God, easily subdued them. Against him, those kings were weak and powerless. Shouldn't these Israelites be thankful? But how about you? How many times in the past year did he protect you from the enemy? The truth is you don't even know how many times he protected you. Shouldn't you thank him? for taking you through 2016 to this new year. He also gave the Israelites a good land. Notice verses 21 and 22. He took the land from the wicked kings and gave it to the Israelites. Why? Why did God do that? 
He did it because it pleased him, the sovereign God, to do that. Israel was his people, and even though they'd been exasperating in the wilderness, they were his people. Shouldn't they thank him? Verses 23, and, verses 23 and 24 tell us that as he rescued them from their enemies, he remembered their low circumstances. God remembered them and raised up leaders for them. Leaders like the judges and finally King David. Shouldn't they be thankful? He also remembered us. He remembered us in our lost condition. And because his loving kindness is everlasting, he sent his son to redeem us from sin. And he redeemed us, sparing us from eternal death and hell and all of our spiritual enemies because his loving kindness is everlasting. Yes, Jesus was sent to redeem us. Mm. <coughs> he didn't send Jesus, he did not send Jesus to redeem the angels who had sinned. After they had rebelled, they were lost forever. But he sent Jesus to redeem us. Shouldn't we be thankful? Then notice in verse 25 something else we should be thankful for. The very food we eat. Oh sure, you go to the supermarket and you buy it. <laughs> and you buy it with the money you've made from working. But what makes it possible for you to have that job and to have the good health to keep it and to have the intelligence to perform it? Shouldn't you and I, like the Israelites, be thankful? Finally, in verse 26, the psalmist says, Give thanks to the God of heaven. The God of heaven. He's a glorious God. We need to take notice of this in our praises to him. Be reminded that the Bible says every good and perfect gift is from above, from the God of heaven. Shouldn't we thank him? And finally, what's the most important thing to be thankful for? The most important thing to be thankful for is your faith. 
最も重要な感謝すべきこと、それは私たち一人一人に与えられている信仰です。Faith that He has given to you to accept His Son as your Savior. 神様が私たちに与えられた信仰、神の一人子をあなたの救い主として受け入れることのできるその信仰です。Faith that gives you all that you need, everything you need. That gives you the spiritual strength to take on all of life's problems. This year, 2017, shouldn't you start it by expressing your gratitude? To the one who has done all for you because he is all. Shouldn't you, shouldn't I, start by giving thanks to him? For what he's done for us in 2016. When we do that, we're ready to start 2017. Yes, it's a new year. And we sing and ask his help and his leading in the new year. Hymn number 811. Hymn number 811. Another year is dawning, dear Father. Second line of the third verse. It says, Another year of training for holier work above. 
ですね、実際。えー、と3番目の役ですけれども、えー、さらに清められた働きのための新しい年と書いてあります。You see, what the hymn writer was saying there is the purpose of our life. まあここで言われていることは私たちの生きる目的について書かれています。The year 2017 Is given to us as training time. この新しい2017年という年は私たちの、えー、トレーニング、訓練のために与えられているようなものです。それは私たちが天国に行ったときにするその仕事,仕事のための準備期間のようなものです。So instead of making New Year's resolutions, うん What is, what is that three days? Nika Bozu. Yeah, Nika Bozu. Yeah. They only let they, three days and. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to 自分で頑張ってしようと思うんではなくて、去年、神様がしてくださったことに感謝して、今年、感謝しながら歩んでいきたいと思います。Isn't she a wonderful interpreter? <笑> oh dear. <笑><笑> okay. Well, thank you for coming to the chapel this morning and celebrating the new year with us.